Okay, this is lesson eight. As you can see, here we have the file. I'm just changing the last settings and preparing the colors before moving it to the new file. The format we've been working so far is RGB. So as we're going to print the illustration, we'll need to change it to CMYK. But after changing the mode, the colors are now desaturated. And this is why I'm adjusting the settings and colors. So as I said, save it as PDF, select a fo format for the new file and select A4 and change to CMYK and we'll get a canvas similar to this one. Let's go back to the previous file one second. Place the image where you want it to be, more or less. You can have a look at the draft we did previously. Okay, I need to move it a little bit. Then at the top, we'll include the heading and subheading. The next step is select the correct font and adapt it so that it has a reasonable size and can be read easily. The font I selected is Bebas Newe and you can find it together with other free fonts in the site Fonts Squirrel. From here, we need to select the proper color, color because we need a color which matches the wave and fit is, fits in with the idea of surfing a wave or riding a wave. It is the feeling caused by caffeine. Remember we talked about it before. And now we are going to start to copy paste the text I mentioned previously. The only thing you need to bear in mind when doing presentation, even when you don't seek to perceive money from it, is that it's necessary to specify the source from where you got the text. The text layout will depend on your taste. If you prefer a symmetric layout, then you need to pay attention to the guides in order to center the elements. In my case, I prefer reflecting this balance and layout on my projects. For this reason, I'll focus on placing all the elements in a symmetric position, which obviously takes time. So this line I've inserted here emphasizes the title, which I named like that. Then we have the subheading, health benefits of coffee based on science. And finally, we are going to insert the columns. So select the text tool and make it bigger. Then paste in there the text you want. After that, select the font and select the size. The size is very important depending on what our image is intended for. In this case, we're going to print it. So the proper size for printing is between eight and 10. This way, the font has a standard and medium size, not too big, not too small. You also need to bear in mind the intended pu public of your composition. For example, if it's intended for older people, the text and font must be readable and understandable. Otherwise, I recommend that you set the size to 9 or 10 for the rest of the cases. After inserting the text, this kind of quotation under the illustration, let's start with the columns. We're going to align the text to the left side and then move the box text to a proper position and change the font color. I'll pick a black color, a neutral black. Okay, just adjust the box and copy the column so that they have the same size and are similar in size and shape. Although we will need to change the text. So delete the current text and paste the new one from the website.
After that, just delete the extra sentences to include them in the following column. Like that. As you can see, layout in Photoshop isn't that difficult, right? Obviously, there are other softwares like InDesign, which provides great tools for layouting and editing text and images since they've been created for this reason. It's not the case of Photoshop, but still, I'm using Photoshop since it can be useful for set certain cases in which we are asked to do an assignment with a short deadline. So it's useful because you don't have to import images or anything since you can do everything in the software. Okay, what I'm doing now is inserting the, tight, the little squares here to delimit the margin of the canvas and also the page number. Let's make it bigger and color it in the same blue that the heading. Well, let's make this line thinner. Okay. So remember that you can experiment with the illustration in case you need to adjust it and so on. You could even introduce any type of border or reduce the opacity. For example, here I'm moving this line and inserting our color from our color palette as if it were a piece of paper. But obviously, it would depend on the position our sheet will have. Don't so you don't get so excited about adding too many details since we could face some problems afterwards. So this is over. Here at the bottom, I've included the link to the website where I got the text. Let me change the color to blue and the font as well. But remember, you can use a maximum of two different fonts. So I've placed it under the text to indicate the source. Okay, as you can see, it's on CMYK mode, and then we're going to save it as a PDF. Okay, save it. And here at the top, within the top, we're going to change the presets to prepare it for printing. So we've already saved it and now we're going to save it again as JPG for web. We only need to export it for web with the highest possible quality and done. Let's insert it in a mockup so that you can see the final result. See you in the next lesson. Bye.